praise the lord hallelujah beloved today we are going to read a very beautiful verse from the bible and meditate on it as we read blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing matthew 24:46 blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing isn't that wonderful let us pray let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight lord jesus christ lead us guide us help us be with us and bless us amen a story is related which has to do with the second coming of our blessed lord and the general dissemination of this precious truth at last it reached the colored people in the south as they worked in cotton fields said one of the old colored brethren what do you use of what's the use of us picking cotton if the lord is coming back what's the use of picking cotton if the lord is coming back and scores of others agreed the cotton pickers stopped their work and the cotton wasted in the fields everybody was busy attending conferences and camp meetings singing the praises of god and looking for his return the following winter was one of great need and privation because their crops had been so woefully neglected then then one of their number and evangelist began preaching on this text blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing before long the colored people were once again tilling their ground and picking cotton in the rows it remained from bertrand shadow well to give us the following poem which suggests their change in attitude there is a king and captain high who'll be coming by and by and he'll be fine he'll find me hoeing cotton when he comes you can hear his legions charging in the thunder of the sky and he'll find me hoeing cotton when he comes when he comes when he comes all the dead shall rise in answer to his drums o oh, the fire of his encampment the fires of his encampment star the firmament on high and the heavens shall roll asunder when he comes there's a man they thrust aside who was tortured till he died isn't it and he'll find me hoeing cotton when he comes when he was spat upon and mocked at he was scourged and crucified and he'll find me hoeing cotton when he comes when he comes when he comes he'll be loved by saints and angels when he comes they'll be calling out 
Hosanna to the man that men denied, and I'll kneel among the cotton when he comes. Yes, occupy till I come. The Lord Jesus says to you and to me, let us keep on doing the good work and also remember that he is going to come and he shall find us doing the work he has given us. As we read in Matthew 24, 46, Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Yes, our mighty God will provide all our needs. We have to do the little work of his that he has given us. We have to read the Bible and make it a habit to give at least half an hour from the 24 hours and meditate on the word of our living God. For the word is life, the word is spirit beloved. Yes, everything, the heavens and earth shall pass away, but his word will not pass away. The word is true. Matthew 24, 35. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8 is true. We will get all guidance, all counseling, all instruction, all rules of life, and every practical tips from the Bible. So let us encash the word. That is, there are 40,000 checks in the Bible. Encash it with your own signature, not a king or a queen's signature. It needs your signature. It needs my signature. Hallelujah. And claim the promises and you will see the miracles happening. I am witness of Lord Jesus Christ at a particular stage of life where everything turned futile. The words came true in my life. Fear not, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36 Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded from his mouth. The word is true in Matthew 4 verse 4. Let us continue doing the good work and the responsibilities that our Lord Jesus Christ has given us. Jesus Christ is the way, the way beloved, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6 is true. Yes, we have the precious gift the Bible, the manna to our soul, and the roadmap of life. Remember, Jesus Christ is our salvation. Remember the word in Revelation 7 verse 10. He is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation chapter 19 verse 16 and Revelation 19 verse 6. And he is the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. There is nothing impossible for him. As we read in Matthew 19.26, yes, he can change your situation. Whatever sorrows are there, whatever pain is there, whatever sickness you have, he will heal you. Yes, he's a God full of love, compassion, mercy, abounding in grace, and also he forgives our sins. Exodus 34 is true. Yes, and the words, the verses are true. There will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. Ezekiel 34, 26. When, when we love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. The first commandment, Exodus 20. Let us confess our sins. Let us also be delivered of them. Yes. Let us repent, confess, and be delivered. Ask for the Holy Spirit, which has been given to you and to me, as a guide, and it will help us to discern the right and the wrong. Let us hear His voice and obey Him. For there is abundance of blessings when we obey. As we read in Deuteronomy 28, 1-14, the word says, When we 
love him when we obey his command we shall be the head and not the tail thou will bless my basket we shall not borrow but lend to the nations hallelujah yes isn't that wonderful a mighty god will bless us yes for he is faithful to his promise exodus 12:25 hebrews 10:23 and he comes riding on the high yes he comes riding on the heavens to help you and me the word is true deuteronomy 33 yes verses 26 and 27 the eternal god is your refuge he is our emmanuel god with us he is our ebenezer god will help us and he's a banner ancient is see as 11 verse 10 yes jesus christ came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance as we read in matthew 9 verse 13 is true whatever your past may be present may be jesus christ is able to change your past present and future for from the beginning he knows the end isaiah 46 verse 10 is true he is the alpha and the omega revelation 1:8 is true five times in the book of revelation it is written he is the alpha and the omega yes beloved every word is true he has all power and authority in heaven and on earth matthew is true and also we read in matthew 28 even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the mighty name of jesus of nazareth hallelujah everything every answer is there in the bible and remember jesus christ will not leave you as orphans john 14 verse 18 his name is ya is the father of the fatherless the defender of the widows he sets a bound into prosperity and also he places the families yes places the single in families hallelujah psalm 68 verse 45 Six is true. So let us bless His name, for He daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68 is true, as we read in verse 19. And there are twenty thousand chariots and more for each one of us. As we read the mighty word from Psalm 68, verse 17, isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah! For the word is true in Psalm 23, verse one. The Lord is my shepherd I shall not want hallelujah yes claim the promise and it will come true Jesus Christ will deliver you he is our deliverer he is our salvation Jeremiah 39 the word has come twice he is our deliverer hallelujah he will deliver you of every financial crisis of every pain of sickness of sorrow and your debts hallelujah he will give you a breakthrough in your business today right now hallelujah yes he is our living god remember the word says in jeremiah 1 verse 5 even before he formed us in the womb he knew us hallelujah isn't that wonderful yes let us praise him be blessed today and every day let us pray for those who are on the sick bed abba father we come in your mighty presence touch my brother sister children who are on the sick bed heal them in the name of jesus of nazareth for with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us you heal us isaiah 53 verse 5 is true you took our infirmities and carried our diseases the word is true matthew 8 verse 17 everything may fail but your word will not fail hallelujah as we read in joshua 21 verse 45 whatever you said was done nothing failed hallelujah because you are faithful to your promise exodus 12:25 hebrews 10:23 is true let there be showers of blessing in my every listeners home ezekiel 34:26 and give them a breakthrough in their business remove all the financial crisis we rebuke every satanic power to leave 
in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you for answering our prayer. Give the wisdom to all of us and the children also. James 1 verse 5 and Proverbs 9 verse 10. You are the fountain of wisdom. Thank you for loving us. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.